Good morning. I'm just popping out to have lunch with a business colleague. Oh, it's a bit sunny. And I thought I would, on the route, just share an update about this week on YouTube. So, about a week and a bit ago, maybe two weeks ago now, gosh, time flies, doesn't it? I was ready to quit. And then I decided I wouldn't quit. But I did decide that if I'm going to stick with this then I really need to do things differently because what I was doing wasn't working and I think it wasn't working because Gen Xers are a bit different I think to your average YouTuber and I think we want different things from YouTube I think we want to give different things I think we want to take different things that's my keys jangling. So I think I have to do things differently and I've already started that. I've already started to be much more informal in my content. I hope you're liking that. I hope that's working. And to be less rigid in the production and not worrying so much about production quality, although I would still like to try and have decent audio and uh, a decent quality uh, visual but not so many edits, you know, not, not taking so much time in the editing. But there, is, uh, there are other things I think that I need to change. And I know that the magic is in the metrics. And analytics aren't something that I've ever really taken a lot of notice of, other than subscribe account and sort of watch time. I, and I don't do the analytics because if I'm honest, I don't really understand them. I'm not great with numbers. I can track them, but I don't know what they actually mean. But here's the thing. Last week, I decided to do something that I absolutely hate, and that was to create a spreadsheet in Excel. And yes, I got sweaty palms and butterflies in my belly because I bloomin' hate spreadsheets. But I realised that actually, if I don't manage uh, and measure, I can't improve. So I'm putting all of my reservations about the numbers aside and I'm going to start tracking. So I started last Thursday. This morning was the very first week of tracking. And when I get back from lunch, I'm going to jump onto the computer and show you what I'm tracking. Now, I'm going to be really, really honest here. I don't really know what I'm doing. And if anybody can give me any help in the comments after this video goes live, that would be amazing because I think I try and understand them, but I, I'm not really getting it. But I've plotted out 20 weeks on this um, spreadsheet and I'm going to track my metrics over the next 20 weeks. And hopefully that will enable me to really learn and understand what the metrics mean, what's important, what's not important, and more importantly, what I can do with that data. So I'm going to shoot off and um, I'll catch up with you after my meeting and I'll jump onto the computer and show you what I've done. I do believe wholeheartedly that the best way to learn is to try and teach. So I am not professing to be teaching you how to do your YouTube metrics, but maybe it's as I'm learning I'll, and, and I'm talking about what I'm learning, maybe you'll learn something too. And if you, as I say, if you already know how to do this, then any feedback or any constructive advice in the comments would be really helpful. So I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, hi there. So I'm in my YouTube studio and I just want to go through what I'm doing to keep track of my stats. And I'm going to be very honest here. It's not something I've really done. I'm learning as I go. I don't really know what I'm doing. So I'm very open to any help and support and advice that you want to drop in the comments. Um, but I'll show you what I'm doing and then you can give me your, your thoughts. Um, so I've actually done this week's stats and I'll show you them in my, but this is spreadsheet of YouTube or my YouTube studio and I'm under the analytics tab here. So we've got various, I mean, there's just so much, so much content in here. So you can 
see the sort of the dashboard, but if you click on see more, it takes you up to a whole load of different analytics. So you can go really granular and, and really deep. You can look at your traffic source. Um, so whether it's, you know, people are finding your videos through the shorts feed, through your, through channel pages through browse, you know, that's when, when you open your YouTube up and there, there are videos sort of, I don't know how many there are that you can see, but then the suggested videos. So if you watch a video, quite often there'll be videos in the bottom left hand corner, sorry, right hand corner of the screen that have been suggested based on what you've already watched. Uh, so you've got loads of analytics that you can tap into, but I'm keeping it really simple until I get a better understanding of what it is I'm trying to do with the, the analytics. So that's my dashboard. Let me just flip over to my spreadsheet and I'll show you the stats that I'm trying to um, track. So oh, I've got a rogue dot in there, but basically I've plotted out 20 weeks. That's how long I'm giving myself to really get to understand what the analytics mean and to be able to use the data um, effectively. So I started last week on the 9th of August and I, I took a, a snapshot of my numbers from there. So what I'm looking at are views. So how many views within a seven week period, oh, sorry, a seven day period. So how many views, how much watch time I had that week the average view duration, that's how long on average somebody hung around and watched the video. The problem I have at the moment is I don't really have any benchmarks. So if I look at other people's channels and look at what their stats are doing, it could throw me completely. Uh, it could end up leaving me very demoralized. It could distort what I'm actually experiencing. So it's really hard at the minute to, to know what um, what I'm working against. So I'm literally going to work week by week and see what my stats do and compare only to the, the previous week. Now looking at click through rate, this is about how many people see your thumbnail and title and decide it's worth clicking on. Um, click through rate and average view duration, I understand are more important in many ways than subscribers. So I'm looking at my total subscribers, um, at that snap points, uh, snapshot point. So when I did this yesterday, it was at 804. I think it's gone up slightly since uh, yesterday. Uh, but more interestingly, I'm looking at how many new subscribers I've had in that seven day period. And then I've just looked at how many of my videos, uh, what percentage of my um, video came up in suggested or browse. And then also how many impressions there, there had been. So impressions are how many times YouTube showed my thumbnail and title and how, how many times somebody actually clicked on it. So the impressions are how many times it was impressed upon people and the number of um, the click through rate, if you like, is based on how many people clicked on it as, an, as a percentage of impressions, I believe. So what I've done here is just looked at my analytics. Let me just flick back to YouTube studio. So I've literally gone through each of the kind of the, the main areas. So I've looked and you can change here. So up here, I've changed it to the last seven days. Uh, it, it defaults to the last 28 days. I don't know if I can change that default, but I just clicked it onto seven days. So, and I've just gone through and said, okay, so I've got a total of 2.5 thousand views, 77.6 hours of watch time. These are slightly different to what's in the Excel spreadsheet because as I say, I, I did this yesterday um, for real, <laughs> but I didn't record it. Uh, and I'm just going back over what I did yesterday. So the, it's had a day to update. So I'm keeping it fairly high level, I think at the minute. If I go into content, I can kind of see how many new viewers I've had, how many returning viewers. I'm not keeping track of that at the moment. I'm not saying I never will, but at the moment I'm just trying to sort of move into the whole analytics thing as, as smoothly and, and easily as I can. Uh, so I have got sort of subscribers and where they're coming from, uh, but it's this, this bit here that I'm most interested in because I think this gives me uh, some some useful data. So it shows the, the impressions. 
and then it gives me the click through rate from those impressions and if that goes down then I guess it means I need to look at my thumbnail design and my title and make sure that it's optimized and um, inviting for somebody to want to click we're looking at the average view duration that's that's the other one I'm looking at so if I go back over here you can see that that sort of fits uh, watch time average view duration click through rate impressions etc so at the minute that's that's really pretty much all I'm looking at I've just realized it I've never found this before I don't think I ever had enough data but it's showing me uh, when people were tuning in for my to watch my videos that's useful I hadn't I hadn't noticed that before uh, it shows me who you know where where are my views coming from well I'm English so it kind of makes sense that the UK is probably where I've got my highest number but actually it's quite closely followed by the state so hello everybody over at the, on the other side of the pond um what else have we got here I can see here I'm absolutely amazed to have anybody under the age of 45 <laughs> watching my stuff but um yeah, that's quite surprising, actually. I imagined it would all be in the sort of 55, 65 plus age bracket. So what I've done here, basically, I've plotted all of the new numbers, but I've put little comments uh, in Excel. I don't know if you know this. If you click on a cell, you can add a new comment and it just stays there. It's really useful. So what I've done here is I've shown the percentage difference, so that whether it's an increase or a decrease. So the green cells are an increase the red cells are a decrease so my views went up from 1300 to 1700 which is a 30.8 percent increase uh, my watch time went up um, and that's a 30.7 percent increase average view duration went down so i need to try and figure out why that might be i don't know whether it may be is something to do with the number of shorts that I created versus longer form, whether it's because some of my videos were shorter or whether people were just getting bored earlier and um, clicking off uh, sooner. I don't know. I need to look into that. Click through rate has gone up by 19.2%. Uh, total subscribers went up by 34%, which I'm happy with. But this one was brilliant. This was a lot down to a couple of videos that I did last week or the week before rather about <laughs> thinking about quitting and also some support that my brother gave me from his channel where he recommended me uh, to his subscribers and uh, uh, quite a few of them came and very kindly subscribed so actually my new subscriber increase is 630.8 percent increase which is phenomenal um, in terms of suggested so YouTube wasn't showing my videos in the suggested feed as much. So that was a 25.7% decrease. And similar with browse, um, I wasn't showing up in browse as much. So 20.8%. Uh, but my impressions were up with to by 39.3%. Um, so all in all, uh, some things are on the rise. And I don't know if there's a natural correlation between if you put out more, um, then chances are people will watch less because you're you're putting out more. I, I don't know. I haven't quite figured that out. Again, if anybody can help me out on that, that would be really useful. So that's all I'm going to track um, for now anyway, just to make sure that I start to really understand what it is I'm looking at and how I can interpret the data and I may as time goes on use more data um, to, to give me more information but really I want to try and get my head around how to interpret this so I don't know hopefully that was useful to you and I guess more than trying to teach you which I'm absolutely not doing it's more kind of showing you my thought process and my learning journey as I try and really understand the analytics. And I have watched many, many YouTube videos about understanding the analytics, but for some reason I've never fully understood what it is I'm looking at. And the, I can look at the numbers, I can track the numbers, but the significance and the implementation of 
kind of doing something differently because of the data I haven't quite figured out yet so watch this space and um, all help gratefully received so I'm gonna leave it there and um, I will catch up next week for week three and see where we're going I'm also very much more conscious I think than I was that some of the advice that I was listening to about YouTube was coming from younger creators who are having great success but they're not my demographic and the advice that I've been listening to more over the last couple of weeks are from people of my age group who don't seem to want the flashy production, the quick edits, the fast um, cuts. They, they want more sort of informational and um, identity content. They want to see the real person behind the, you know, the, the creator. So my content style is changing. Um, it'll be interesting to see how that's reflected in the data. Yes, let's see how things pan out. And if you want to follow along with my uh, YouTube growth journey, um, I'm going to try and do one of these videos every week for the next 20 weeks. I would love to get to the point where I am monetized. Um, one thing I don't think I have got showing on here let me just go back to my YouTube sh studio and show you. I'm looking for the monetization. Oh, earn. Here we go. So in terms of getting to monetization, I've already hit the subscribe account for um, the, like the first tier of monetization, but I haven't got the watch time hours. So for the first tier, which is things like super thanks, super chats and, and memberships and things, I need 3000 watch hours over the last 12 months. And at the minute I've got 1359, although that's probably a few days out of date because I think it takes YouTube a couple of days to, to catch up with itself. Um, or four and a half thousand public shorts views. Well, I don't really do shorts that much, so that's never going to happen. So I've still got a fair amount of work to do in getting those watch hours up, even just to hit the first tier of monetization. Uh, if I go down and show you the, the, low, the higher tier, uh, the minute I have 810 subscribers and I need a thousand, so that's getting quite close. But for full monetization and to be able to tap into the YouTube partner program, I would need 4,000 hours. So I'm, you know, less than halfway there at the moment. So that is quite um, a challenge. They, they say, don't they, that you can't manage what you don't measure. And I, I kind of know this fundamentally from business, but it's not my thing. Analytics aren't my thing. But I do know that if I want to um, make things better and improve that kind of 1% improvement, I have to understand what I'm improving from. And I didn't keep track of that data. So hopefully this is going to help me reach that monetization goal. And you could also help <laughs> by watching more of my videos, please, please. Um, and getting the subscribe account to a thousand if you if you haven't already subscribed and interestingly that's another bit of data that you can get from YouTube let me just see if I can find it they go yeah watch time from subscribers so actually my subscribers watch 28.2 percent of my videos and and um, gave me uh, 28.2 percent of my watch time non-subscribers gave me 71.7 percent so if you're not subscribed, do me a favor, please just hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything to do that. Um, and it really would help me um, make my spreadsheet look prettier. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you haven't already, that would be absolutely great. I'm going to leave it there uh, because I think I'm probably rambling now. But uh, I hope you found that interesting. And if you're not an analytics person like I'm not, maybe you found it a little bit helpful as well or um, it's it's reassured you that you know you're not out there on your own if you struggle with the numbers i'll leave it there for now and i'll talk to you soon bye